This is a Sports Show. We going back. We doing a throwback Saturday edition to the BS3 Sports Show. Started off doing shows on Saturday. Uh, going back to one today. Got the day off. So uh, we got a great show. Great show planned for today. Three hours of actions packed sports talk. Uh, we'll also have a hip hop artist 
My man St. Jones will be coming on the show. Been featuring his album. Also, we got Tyon Mack on the line right now. Uh, we also have D. Murph. He's a podcaster. Uh, Why Not Sports. Also, Courtney Harden. Was going to try to get him on right now, but he's got something going on. But Courtney Harden of The Real Deal will be coming on the show. Uh, today's show sponsored by Bay 11 Auto. Also sponsored by the Giant Voices podcast. Uh, so shout out to the people in the chat room. My man, Tyon Mack, what's going on? How you doing today? I'm, I'm good, man. How you doing? Good. Good. Good, man. Long, long time coming for Saturdays, but that's that's uh, that's where it all started. So we're going back. Um, shout yeah, out to... Yeah, I was about to... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was about to say, man, we ain't, we ain't been on Saturdays in a long time, man. <laughs> you know, the, the nice little early morning, Saturday, you know, sports talk. You know, at the end of the week, it's always a good thing, man. Definitely, definitely. So we got uh, Mo Cheese in the chat room. We got Professor X, a.k.a. KC in the building. We got ABM, Angry Black Man in the building. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, you know how we do it. It's interactive. If you're tuning in for the first time, uh, join in on the show chat room. It's easy to do. All you do is create a profile. And when you create that profile with your Twitter or your Facebook or your email, you can join right in into the conversation. Uh, it gets rowdy. It gets exciting. But it's well worth you coming in. So, man, uh, crazy NBA trades, obviously, since the last time we talked. Um, but the title of today's show, More NBA Trades Than Now. And we we could, we could talk about that first. Shout out to RC in the building. Boxing. Aficionado. We'll be talking Pacquiao and uh, Thurman also later on in the show, too. But with all these trades that we've seen so far, we've seen blockbusters. We still got CP3 on the Thunder. Um, there, there's rumors going around of a possibility. DeMar DeRozan. I don't know if you heard about that one. And then Blake yeah. Griffin. But l- let me know what your thoughts are on any further NBA trades you think may be coming down the pipe? Uh, right now, right now, I, I think the one that, I mean, I, I'm, I'm waiting to see the CP3 trade. What happens next with CP3? Um, you know, of course, that one, I think that one caught everybody by surprise. Um, not necessarily CP3 getting traded, but <laughs> Russell Westbrook getting traded from Oklahoma to uh, Houston. Um, and in 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 Oklahoma taking back CP3 um, in that deal, so I'm kind of waiting to see why this with them because I think CP3 is still a a playoff caliber point guard. Um, he is a he is a you know he's not an elite elite point guard anymore, of course, but you know, he's still a top tier point guard that um, with Oklahoma and what they're trying to do, which is essentially they're trying to tank. They're trying to tank so they can get picks, uh, get a high draft pick, um, and start the rebuilding process. Can't really tank with CP3 on your team. I mean, this is a guy who's, you know, been in the league for, uh, I think, like 14 years now. About 14 years, 11 of those 14 years, he's been in the playoffs. This is not a dude that's tanking, right? Uh, He's an ultra-competitive player. He's an ultra-competitive player, and he's a pure point guard that actually makes players around him better. So, you know, he will you know, make OKC a better team by being on the court. So this is something that OKC is going to have to do. They're going to have to move that dude. Um, I look at them trying to move him to a team who might uh, who might have some playoff aspirations, uh, possibly on like the fringe of being a playoff team. If they're like CP3 can either push them to the top of that pack or make them competitive. Um, so, you know, it, everybody kept on saying like Miami – you know, that was like the biggest rumor. I actually want to go like right next door to Orlando. Um, I think Orlando might be that team that might make a, make you know, possibly a trade for CP3. It also works because Orlando can also give up young pieces to uh, to uh, uh, to Oklahoma um, as well as picks. So I, I, I'm looking for I'm, Yeah, so I'm looking, I'm looking at that um, as a possibility um you know, uh, later on down the road, like right around All Star break, um, you know, you, you also have the Bradley Beal um, thing, uh, Bradley Beal and, and John Wall. I, I actually think that um, you know John Wall won't get traded because nobody wants that massive contract. 
especially with a guy who just came off a torn ACL and an Achilles injury. <laughs> right? right. True. Uh, that's that's pretty it's pretty bad. But Bradley Beal is appealing, and I think that Washington they might try to do a restart as well. Um, and if they try to do a restart, I actually think they might try to package both of those guys together. Like, hey, we'll give you both of these guys, take their contracts, you know, for a pick or two or for a player, uh, a mid-level, mid-tier player, uh, possibly just so they can get uh, restarted uh, in their building process around uh, uh, Rua, uh, Hichima, what's his name, Hichimaru? Hich- uh, H- I can't H- even H- say H- his yeah, Hachimura, yeah. <laughs> Hachimura. Yeah, you know, so they, so, so that, that's, that's something that, that's possible as well. Um, you know, I, I read the Blake Griffin uh, deal. You know, the the possible uh, Blake Griffin getting traded. Uh, I don't, I don't really see that as a big possibility. Um, you know, again, another guy coming off an injury. Um, he's been injured a lot. So that that max deal that he got, I don't I don't see it as a favorable uh, piece to anybody. Um, you know the Demar Derozan thing. You know that that was really funny because the Demar Derozan trade um, or the idea of Demar Derozan going to Detroit is ironic because of Dwayne Casey and everybody saying that him and Dwayne Casey didn't get along. Right. right? So in Toronto, they didn't get along, but now he wants to go play with Dwayne Casey. Like, what happened all of a sudden? You know, did you, did you go play with Pop and was like, you know what? I kind of like Dwayne Casey a little bit more than I did before. <laughs> you know, like, what what happened there? You know, I don't know. But that that would be interesting. I still don't think Detroit is a, uh, you know, one of those teams, is, you know, that's like going to scare you anytime soon. Uh, you know, until they move Reggie Jackson somehow. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That team is like they're they're going to be in the in the you know in the trash, uh, in my opinion. You know they're they're just one of those like you know AC go there and get blown out type teams right now. Yeah, and the, it's interesting that the Pistons are being linked to pickups. They get uh, D Rose, uh, kind of a resurgence of D Rose. They got Blake Griffin. They're being linked to to you know possibly picking up other players. They were linked to. Um, to Russell Westbrook, you know, obviously that didn't happen, but it's interesting with the Pistons kind of getting uh, some trade love, and maybe that's because of the the, the amount of money that they have. Um, we got Tyon Mack on the line, uh, throwback Saturday show. Um, let me give a shout out to Kev, Clutch Talk Sports, uh, and let me talk about him for just a minute. I got to do a pause. He's in a contest called the uh, Fan Phenom here in Dallas. Um, I actually competed in it last year, but he is a finalist for this. He could possibly have a show on 105.3 The Fan, which is comparable to, you know, the CBS Sports Radio here in Dallas. So coming up this afternoon, uh, put the put the info in there. I believe it's 345 Central to 430 Central. He'll be on live on the air, 105.3 The Fan. So everybody tune in. Um, this is a great opportunity for him. I'm happy for him. I'm praying for him. But I wanted to pause real quick, talk about that. Um, RC in the building. We're talking about, uh, he's talking about Pacquiao and Thurman. Uh, Jeff Fox show. Shout out to Jeff Fox too. Got his show in Miami. Uh, 1210 The Man. 7 to 9. Uh, Eastern, I believe Central or Eastern time. Uh, and then who else do we got that jumped in? Miss J, two twice in the building. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, join in okay. on the conversation. Much love. We'll be talking about uh, Pacquiao Thurman as well uh, later on. But um, the DeMar DeRozan thing, I don't... Why, why would they be wanting to trade him unless they're just talking about blowing the thing up? I know They were talking about adding pieces and then they're going to turn around and talk about trading DeRozan, which that could just be a rumor. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of truth uh, and there's a lot of false to all of these NBA rumors and stuff like that. But uh, back to the CP3. With the CP3 thing, um, the report came out this week. Thunder increasingly expect Chris Paul to stay, uh, to start the season with the <laughs> team. When I seen that story, I was like, nah, nah, bro. Yeah, it, That's maybe what, what y'all want to put out there. But you don't want to have CP3 on this team because then you could possibly... 
I'm not going to say they're going to make the playoffs, but you could be better than maybe what you guys want to be, and you're trying to lose games.